Sure, so my name is Rohan Joshi. I studied biology at Drexel University. I graduated in 2020, and I'm currently a fourth year medical student at Drexel College of Medicine. I was treasurer for the 2018-2019 school year and then VP for the 2019-2020 school year. Yeah, so the role of the VP was to plan and help plan and execute on-campus activities, including monthly meetings, activities, and fundraisers. The VP also aided the president with uh, submitting the approval form to the school for the actual service selling trips. And then the treasurer was responsible for handling all of the club finances, um, fundraised money and money granted from the school for on-campus activities. So I joined MedLife as a member, not as an e-board member, but as a general member in 2017, when a girl named Justina, she was a sophomore, actually started a MedLife chapter at Drexel. So that, I don't ex exactly remember how I got involved from the very beginning, but I'm sure I saw a flyer somewhere went to that first meeting in the library. I thought it was a pretty interesting idea. So I went to a couple more meetings throughout the fall and decided that I wanted to be a part of MedLife and go on a, a service learning trip in the spring. I knew I wanted to go to medical school and I thought that joining MedLife would, you know, give me an excellent glimpse into how medicine's practiced in another country. I got to see what, you know, unique medical challenges are present in Lima and Cusco, for instance. It was gratifying to see the mobile clinics were helping so many people, including children. Now, when I went on these trips, of course, I wasn't in medical school yet, so I didn't know a lot of the medicine, but I got to see how all the different factors of a patient's life play a role in determining an individual's access to health care and health literacy. You know, we saw patients of different education levels. Uh, we saw how local diet and nutrition played a role in what diseases were prevalent. And a large part of medical education today in medical school revolves around looking at the patient as a whole, not just as a medical disease. And I think about that a lot, and we take into account education level, so socioeconomic status, access to nutrition, transportation, insurance. And I got to see a lot of that during my um, time as a part of MedLife. Yeah, so I was able to go on two service learning trips. Um, we were slated to go on a third one during spring of 2020 to Ecuador. But of course, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we weren't able to go. But I was able to go to Lima in spring of 2018 and then Cusco in 2019 spring. And I truly enjoyed both trips. You know, we worked alongside local doctors, nurses, community members, pharmacists to help, you know, take vitals at triage, directed patients around the clinic, help the pharmacists hand out medications. We taught kids how to uh, brush their teeth properly, et cetera, et cetera. More importantly, not only did we assist with the mobile clinics, we also uh, learned how medicine is practiced in these areas and how the local medical infrastructure is designed. You know, when you think of MedLife, you think the word med is medicine, but if you look at the acronym, of course, it's medicine, education, and development. And these development projects are a large part of these trips as well that I think a lot of people don't realize until they become a part of MedLife. So for instance, when we went to Lima, Peru, we were told that, in, you know, in addition to going to these medical clinics, these mobile clinics, we would also help in building a staircase. And I was like, what, before I got there, I was like, what does that mean? What does building a staircase mean? Why are we doing that? When you get to Lima, you'll realize that, and you're told that so many people flee into Lima you know, to seek asylum or just to get better access to jobs, that there's not enough room in Lima itself for everyone to live. And so they go to the hills that are on the outskirts. These hills are dangerous because they're steep and they're far away from water, food, um, education for, for students and so on. So building these staircases allows uh, these members to access these resources easier and safer. And so in the end, I was really glad I was able to go on these trips. I learned a lot. And, you know, we start the whole process of planning for a trip in the fall. So I got to learn a lot about my other members that went on the trip with me. So it was nice to make some friends along the way too. Being an eboard member like puts you in a unique position to bring such a life-changing experience to life. And there's a lot of work that goes into it, but it's very gratifying. I would say rely and lean on your other members that are part of your eboard. Everyone has their own unique role that comes together to make this work. Host meetings to learn about the location you're going to, learn about taking vital signs, See if you can learn a little bit about the language, you know, some basic Spanish classes, for instance. I think that, that'd be my biggest advice. So if you've never heard of this before and you saw a flyer, I would encourage you to go to that first meeting and see what MedLife is all about. Um, you can learn a lot just by going and listening to past students' experiences, visiting the MedLife website. I know I got a lot of information by learn, uh, listening to testimony and reading about other people's experiences. If you're even on the fence, I say, why not just go to a meeting and uh, see what MedLife can offer you because you may just be pleasantly surprised.